Good evening. I am Dr. Samava Mukherjee. Uh, I'm a consultant neurologist working in uh, News of Neurosciences, Calcutta. And today we will be talking something about the first aid which is to be given with patients who have got epilepsy. Now, I, I think the most important thing whenever I am dealing with patients with epilepsy in my clinic is that there is a little bit of misconception about what, what are the usual do's and don'ts that we need to do in a patient when we see that a patient is having an epileptic seizure or an epileptic attack. Now, uh, the first step will be to identify if the patient has an attack or not. Now, the most common signs is that the patient will have some abnormal movements of all the limbs. They have will may have an uprolling of the eyeballs, but the lookout sign will be the eyes will usually be open. They may have a neck deviation to some sides or the other, and they may or may not have a tongue bite or an urinary incontinence. So this is the usual, most common form of seizure semiology that we see. I'm talking about this because this is the most common thing. Apart from that, you know, you may see some patients, they will, for some few seconds, they might lose contact with the environment or, or something of that sort. Now, whenever you see a patient having this, the first thing that you should do is, you know, you have to keep the patient safe. So if the patient has had a fall or is, if the patient is going to fall, the first thing is to prevent the fall. And um, if the patient has had a fall, you have to support the head so that he does he or she does not hurt himself or herself. That's the first thing. Second thing is you are supposed to release any tight clothing around the neck so that the patient can breathe freely. The third point is try to lie down the patient on one side. Why is this important? Because sometimes what happens is because the patient is unconscious, they have the pulling of the saliva inside their mouth and that can go into the lungs and that can cause an infection, what we call as aspiration. So to prevent that, it is always advisable to make the patients lie on one side. Now, which side? It doesn't matter. Actually, the patient has a kiss side. Current. So which side? It doesn't really matter. But left lateral will be a, a, a little better. So that is the second part. The third part is, Usually, your doctor will prescribe a medicine which can be given in a nasal spray form. It is always advisable that the patient relatives or the patient bystander has it or even the patient has it. Sometimes, you know, you are, there are some wearable devices which are, which are available in the West. Uh, there are some devices which are available now in India also sometimes, which will trigger an alert to a nearby, you know, the, the, the contact of the person. And that person can guide you that, you know, this person has a nasal spray or something in his, in his or her bag. And this nasal spray is to be given in the nostrils and it is in the spray form. So it is very easy to administer. And with this, what happens is the attacks will usually, uh, you know, subside. Now, when to press, uh, to, to be cautious. Now, if the attacks continue, like, you know, the patient regains consciousness and then again, the patient does have a, a repeated attack or the patient does not regain consciousness at all or if it is a first attack that is when you should rush to the emergency or you should see your doctor and that is most important 